Hello and welcome. This is Deepak Mishra once again. And in this video, we are going to talk about the non-clinical branch, for example, a pathology residency in Germany. I get several questions from doctors, international doctors who ask me that, okay, you talk about uh, clinical medicine all the time, you talk, but what about the non-clinical branches? Now see about non-clinical, one is from non-clinical, but work as a doctor. That means the branches like pathology, uh, maybe physiology, maybe microbiology, like that. But then there are also branches which you don't work as a doctor. Okay, you are in research, maybe you are doing PhD or maybe neuroscience or MSc courses, such courses you, can, you are doing. So here one has to understand the difference between uh, work as appro with approbation, that with license and work without license. So people ask me that, okay, if I fail the approbation exam, the Kentness proofing exam three times, then what are my scopes? So in that way, I say that, okay, well, if you fail those exams, that exam for three times, which is very unlikely, but you never know. Um, so in that case, one has the, uh, the chance or the scope to going into uh, non-clinical, non, not the non-clinical, but the, the segment which is non-appropriate, where you can work in research and do masters and work in pharma industry and uh, clinical research facilities. So that options are always there. But in this video, we are going to see about the residency in pathology on your screen. As you now can see on the website of Erstekramer in uh, Northern Westphalen. Now each Erstekramer, each that Erstekramer means medical council, each medical council has its own vital buildings ordno. Vital buildings ordno means the light linear, the guidelines uh, through which a vital building, a training has to be conducted. Now it mentions the duration, the things that have to be done in that duration. For surgical branches, it is like the procedures that they need to do. Uh, so the, the things that is included in the training is given on that. Now I have taken the example of state of Northern Westphalen, but this is basically same for all states in Germany. There is a Bundes Erstekramer, and all things are same. Uh, only slight, slight differences are there. So we'll take this example. As you can see on your screen, pathology. They have talked about definition and everything that we don't need to talk about. What is important for us to know is that vital building site means how much time will it take. Here you can see 24 months of basis vital building, that is a basic training in pathology is required. After that, this 24 months, what, what happens after that? Now what will you learn in these 24 months here? They had talked about the, the knowledge, the experiences and the skills that you need to develop here. So, uh, the link to this website will be in the description. You can go there, you can check it out, everything in detail. Here are the details of pathology that one needs to know if you're interested in pathology or you're already a pathologist in your home country and you want to work here, you will definitely know these things. Now we'll talk about the next part. This was the basis, Basis Vital Bildung, the basic training. Now, see, let's see the next part. This Fach Erstin for Neuropathology, the Neuropathology in German it will be called. So, uh, Neuropathology. What does that mean? As the name suggests, neuropathology. What, how is the training or the uh, the duration for that? You see, 24 months here. Again, the basics. But then the 48 months, the four years after that, you work specifically towards neuropathology. So that means in total of six years duration, six years of training is required to become a neuropathologist. Okay. Now, moving ahead, you see. Fakats Fak Estate for Pathology. Okay. Now they have also given a logbook over here what things have to be done, but uh, the things are same. I mean, uh, things that you need to do as a pathologist are same everywhere in all states. You can go and click on that and you can see the details of things that is expected. But that is not much of the interest at this stage when you are at the application stage. That's why I'm not going to go into details of the logbook. Uh, but we are going to have a brief overview of the residency training. Here you can see as a pathologist, Park Estin Park Arts for Pathologist, 24 months again in basic vital building and 48 months in pathology as a Park Arts of Pathology. Now this thing, this four, all six months can be done at the same place. Important thing is that the institute where you're working, the professor with whom you're working, he or she should have the training authority for that entire six years. Okay. Now, from this 12, uh, for this 48 months, 12 months in Gebieten unmittelbar Patsin Versorgung angerichtet werden. That means that means that if you spend the initial time, for example, when you come to Germany, you are do working with your Fachsprach Prüfung approbation and everything, and you are finding jobs. So if you are working, say, in internal medicine or surgery, 
or any branches where you are direct patient in direct patient contact that time will also be counted in your training towards pathology one year one year maximum one year can be done in a patient contact that means if you're working uh, in germany you can do your first one year say in the branch the first job that you find a clinical job and after that doing that one job you can keep searching your stellar in the position in pathology and you can move there and rest five years you can do in pathology and in six years you will be able to take the exam for facats for pathology now this is about this is the instagrammer that i have talked about you can go on this website and check out the the link the details of that use translator to get uh, things like uh, to understand things better now we'll also see how does a job prospect or job um, advertisement look like now see this is very simple i have just google stellen angebot for pathology pathology assistant arts so here see you see uh, this is a university clinic of mannheim then assistant arts pathology this is the requirement now they have meant they described the mostly job uh, in germany they are they describe initially the hospital what is the spectrum what how many patients do they treat what kind of things do they have if they have any specialty then they talk about that specialty then they talk about what is the position assistant arts teller when it says m w d that means it is a gender that means assistant arts does not only mean male arts anyone of any gender Uh, is called assistant arts at least for this advertisement they have not written assistant arts air stin uh, so uh, like that that is what it means the mwd now you can see what is the off cover fresh uh, off cover give you so what things one has to do so there they have talked about the things that a pathologist is supposed to do and what is the requirements that you should have now that is important to understand ina in deutschland anerkannte approbation als arts means the approbation which i have talked about so many times in so many videos by now and also through our courses that approbation has to be done okay that means the same exam with with your uh, um anatomy physiology internal medicine general surgery uh, orthopedics and trauma pharmacology not fall medicine so all these subjects have to be learned and passed the approbation exam has to be passed before you start working as a pathology resident here in germany and what are they offering you then they offer the general things um, like how will be paid what vacations you can have all those the things that is not very important right now in the beginning stage for the beginning stage what is important is what is required of you here you can see approbation when they have mentioned this in begeistert of the fact pathology you are interested in the branch and you bring team work empathy uh, responsibility self reliability those uh, soft skills that uh, but if you have that is expected in this uh, job and a sehr gute deutsch kenntnis means very good german language skills so this is one of the example uh, how a, a application a, a job um, offer looks like if one is interested here you can just click here is been interested or maybe one can go and find uh, this on their website and email to the professor over there and uh, send your application over there so this way Uh, if you have approbation if you have german language skills uh, till b2c1 uh, then uh, if you are a better candidate than the rest of the applications they will definitely then invite you all right this was about pathology now this applies to other uh, non clinical branches like microbiology uh, as well like physiology as well all right so uh, if you have more questions towards pathology you can let, uh, let me know in comment section i will try to find out more information and share with you guys have a nice time bye bye